Grooming can be tedious and at times a lot of work. However, every time you walk into a room, you wanna feel as confident as possible and feel your best self. By the end of this video, you will learn which grooming mistakes to avoid, what habits to start implementing, and ultimately what products you should be using to get the job done. Bad breath is an all time turnoff. So not only should you be brushing twice a day as well as flossing, but let me put you on to a tongue scraper. Now, I didn't use this for much of my adult life until somewhat recently actually, but you would not believe the gunk that comes off your tongue when you use this product. A ton of bacteria lives on your tongue, AKA the smelly stuff. Sometimes you can brush your teeth and still have a little bit of bad breath left behind, and this will get the last of that smell out. Additionally, after you use it, you just feel a lot cleaner in general as well once you see that nasty stuff come off of your tongue. Your smile is the first thing someone notices about you. So you should be paying attention to whitening your teeth or at least keeping them generally pretty white. Be sure you are using teeth whitener or products like teeth whitening toothpaste that lend themselves to help keep your teeth whiter over time. A good smile goes a long way and I cannot overstate that enough. It can be really unattractive when someone smiles and their teeth are just yellow. That's a really tough thing to overcome. So make sure you're paying attention to that and it's a really easy step that you can take. As we go through this video, I'll go over all the products that I personally like to use to get these jobs done and you can find those in the description below. What's the next thing someone looks at after they look at your smile? It's usually the eyes and right around your eyes is the eyebrows. So it is an important thing to keep up. Plucking your eyebrows is something that requires very little effort every couple weeks or so and is another step you can take to help yourself look well-groomed. Think to yourself, have you ever been complimented on your eyebrows? It might sound weird, but trust me, it's a thing. And if not, this may be a reason why. Eyebrows can be a really attractive feature and especially if you have bushy eyebrows, just be sure to keep them cleaned up and have those edges well-groomed. Moving on to my third recommendation would be to trim your nose and ear hair. We all have that grandpa in the family with hairs coming out of like every crevice of his body. We don't want that and it's not a good look. I personally use the Manscaped nose trimmer and no, I'm not sponsored, but I do really like the product. I've been using Manscaped for years and it's just a really easy tool to get this job done. Now you may not think nose hair is a big thing, but if you're face to face with somebody really close or on a date in an intimate setting, trust me, you don't want them to see hair coming out of your nose. It's not the most attractive thing. So definitely take this step as well to bump up your grooming game. Now we're gonna talk about grooming your hair properly. Now, I understand I don't have the best head of hair by any means, but I watch plenty of videos to get a really good understanding of what you should and shouldn't do. And if you're lucky enough to have a great head of hair, then don't overlook this step and waste it. A secret product I found out recently that works really, really well is sea salt spray. Now it sounds interesting, but essentially what it does is it adds volume to your hair and texture as well without adding that fake texture that a lot of gels can have. So this is a great product to add to your routine as well. Sea salt spray adds volume and texture to your hair, enhancing that natural look that you already have. Additionally, you wanna avoid having too oily or too matte of a hair gel as well. I was recommended 11 Australia by my barber and I really like it. It works great for me, but everyone has their own preferences when it comes down to hair gel. On top of that, be sure to get a good barber. Don't go to sports clips. We're past that now. Spend the extra 10 or $20 when you go and get your haircut and I'm telling you, it's gonna make a difference. My confidence will never be higher every time I walk out of the barber shop with a fresh cut. So I would highly recommend getting that pretty consistently. I do it every four weeks, even more frequently would be great, but I do understand it is a pretty pricey thing to keep up and maintain. Now, if you want more hair grooming tips, go check out Alex Costa's channel. I'll link to his channel in the description below. We're two separate Alex's completely but he has some luscious locks and some really great hair tutorial videos. So I think that would be really helpful for y'all to check out. All right, moving right along is deodorant and cologne. I think it's a bare minimum ask to be putting on deodorant consistently one or two times a day at the very least. There's nothing worse than getting a waft of someone's BO. That said, I would recommend that your deodorant doesn't have aluminum or toxic metals in it. I personally care about that stuff a lot and so I try to stick to natural products. Using cologne can be a really nice touch or accent. I'm personally not the biggest cologne guy, so I have a best friend that is and I ask for his personal recommendations and every time he comes into town, I always use his cologne. But for me, I just don't feel like going out and buying it. For some people, they do really love it. Just be careful, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way and you definitely don't want to overdo it. Now we're gonna talk about manscaping and we're talking 
everywhere. You definitely want to get your back, whether that means phoning a friend as cringy as it can be. Trust me, you don't want a hairy back. It's not the best look. Clean up the chest a little bit too. We don't want a super hairy chest. And that's what I loved about the Manscaped tool. I used the Lawnmower 4.0. I actually owned the 2.0 as well. It died out eventually, but it's a really great product. And the attachment tool that you can put on it allows for your hair to be a little bit longer so you're not looking like a naked mole rat, but a nice trimmed clean look is what we're going for here. Next up is hair care. Like I said, I know I don't have the best hair by any means, but we're talking about long-term longevity with your hair and what's best for it. Don't wash your hair every day using shampoo. And it's actually kind of a movement right now, like the anti shampoo movement. I'm definitely not on that, but I think it's safe to say once every other day, once every three days, feel free to use shampoo and continue to use conditioner. And on that note, do not use a three in one or a five in one body wash conditioner shampoo thing. Like that is an all time red flag. And I'm telling you, you don't want to do it for any female suitors. Use a separate conditioner, a separate shampoo and a separate body wash for these respective parts of your body. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Now this one's gonna sound cliche, but it's just to eat and work out consistently. Now this is somewhat tangential in terms of grooming, but I do think it is actually still on topic. Obviously in terms of your physique, that matters too, but also what you're putting into your body and how you're feeling mentally goes a long way. Depending on what you eat can really affect the levels of your hormones. And if you eat properly, there's a high likelihood that you're probably smelling better, feeling better, and it just all is a cycle. So I wanted to bring it up in this video because I did think it was relevant. Additionally, I have some vlog and workout content on this channel. If you're interested to follow along or maybe learn a bit more about eating natural or doing different workouts, then go ahead and check those out. I think you'd find them really helpful. All right, moving right along. We're talking washing your face. There's nothing more attractive than a smooth, clean face with no acne on it. You should be washing your face at minimum once a day. I personally usually just do it in the shower, but if I was a little bit more active, maybe I'd do it at the end of the day as well. It really just depends, but at minimum, just do it once a day. Always wash your hands first before washing your face and then use water or a face wash to clean your face. I like this Cetaphil oil removing face wash, but like I said, if you're in a pinch, water will do. Lastly, use a clean towel when you go to wash your face off. This goes a long way as well. I started doing this religiously and noticed a massive reduction in the amount of acne I was getting. All right, now this point is very closely related to the last one, and this is moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Don't forget to add moisturizer or lotion to your face after cleaning it. You don't want to strip your skin of all its natural oils and you also don't want to dry out. Oh yeah, and do not use a body lotion on your face. It's a much thicker substance and it's gonna clog up your pores and probably lead to more acne. So get a body and face lotion or even separate them and get a body lotion and a face lotion respectively. I personally use this Cetaphil body and face lotion. It works great for me and has for years. I really like Cetaphil because it's dermatologist recommended and it doesn't have chemicals in it like the brands we see all the time on TV. And here's another bonus tip. Get a good hair dryer, especially if you're a guy that lacks volume in your hair naturally, AKA me, I certainly do. It is really nice though, even if you do have great volume, it just makes doing your hair a lot easier once you get out of the shower. Now there's a certain type of hair dryer, I forget exactly what the name is, but I'll definitely link to it in the description below. I've used it for years and my girlfriend's friends have came over and complimented her on it and she's like, oh no, that's actually my boyfriend. So it's a great hair dryer and I would highly recommend using it if you're in need for one. Now I hope you found this video helpful. My goal coming in was to have you walk away being able to add one grooming tip to your daily regimen or being able to know what mistakes now to avoid. If you did find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. I talk about fitness, clothing, sometimes grooming obviously as well, workouts, and it would be great to have you join the channel. With that said, we'll catch you on the next one.